that the soul is nothing but just space so look away look away look away go warner is forced to watch bad movies. He tries to review them to make himself happier with a plan that's not quite awful. It's amazing how he tries to live right through it. It's amazing how a person like yourself would even want to view it. Just look away, look away. There's nothing but horror and inconvenience on the way. Ask any stable person, should I watch? And they will say, look away. Hey guys, today we're going to do Alvin and Chipmunks. Now this movie is a, is a live action movie based on the series called Alvin and Chipmunks. Where they made us, where they made, where people would make, where would, you know, mess around with their record players and, you know, make little chipmunk noises while they sing. So basically, that's what got started the whole Alvin and Chipmunks thing. They made a lot of albums, and once people started fooling around with those things, they decided to make them. TV shows, movies, all that kind of stuff. And this was one of them, where they decided to make a whole movie on it and make it a popular thing. And now, I never heard of this, now men have never heard of this movie, and I haven't either. So, basically it was kind of surprised and shocking that, our, that Amanda's parents would kind of know about this a little bit. So we went to go and see all that stuff. The story. It's about these singing chipmunks who end up, well, in a band. Their names are Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. And, well, they're, well, they're found by this man named Dan and D Dave. Who takes them in as their own and decides to, you know, take them out as their own. And seeing that they're singing and popular, he decides to make a buck out of them too. With their Christmas songs and their wide renowned stuff. The animation. It is ugly. I can't stand it. The story. Now right back to the story, uh... About my opinion about the story, it's actually not that bad of a story. I actually kind of like the idea of chipmunks singing and all that stuff, or animals in that general. And not to mention the fact that people used to fool around with that stuff in records. It's actually really interesting how they would make that into a story, in a way. Hmm. It's just really good crafting. The characters. Dave. Good. Now, Dave... He's alright as a character. I mean, he can get a few laughs here and there, but he's alright, I guess. You also got Dan, who is a very good villain, surprisingly. I think he's really good and has a really good hench to bring up the chipmunks to do his own bidding. So it's really interesting you got him on the side of the villainy. Alvin, he's bad. He's a total pain in the neck. I know he's supposed to be like a troublemaker around here, but... He's really, really pushing to the limits in this movie. He's really going crazy. It's just really nuts. He gets a little annoying, and he's just really crazy. I know he's supposed to be a troublemaker, but in the cartoon, he wasn't really that annoying. But in this one, he's really annoying, and I can't handle it. Simon. Well, he's not really a bad character. He's just a little too smart at times. And sometimes he come off as, a, like, a bad character, because sometimes he's... Maybe not the right character. Like, sometimes he's a little bit odd character. I mean, a little bit off character. Sometimes he's a little bit like Alvin. And sometimes he's a little bit like Theodore. And it's a little weird. Theodore. He's cute and all, but sometimes he can be a little bit off character and start acting like Alvin. So, it's even more weirder than that. Yeah. Overall, I hate this movie. The only good about it is the story, but there is not much to hold up of the 
performance it gives. And it has. And the villains. And Dan as well. It's not enough. So I'm going to give it a 2. Uh, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. Well, I'll see you next time.